Hey, good morning, friends. Just as I shuffle about on this sofa, great to see you again. Hope you're well. Happy Friday to you all. I hope you're all good. Um, it's just coming up to 10.45. The sun is shining. There's a bit of blue sky. My days is a hell of a lot nicer out there than it was yesterday. So I've, um, after yesterday, as you saw in the vlog, if you saw it yesterday, I've set up the um, Wahoo Bolt. Um, I was fiddling about with um, Ride With GPS late last night and I've just mapped out a short, I think it's a, like a nine mile route just around the lanes with turn by turn instructions just so I can test it out to make sure that it, uh, the turn by turn instructions is functioning correctly so we're going to head out and try that out which should be fantastic, I'm really excited to get out there um, after yesterday, I think I did seven odd miles yesterday just testing out the um, Wahoo. It was so windy, it was horrendous, literally getting buffeted from side to side. So I kind of got off the lanes and then stuck to some woods and some trails for a bit of shelter from the hedges and the trees. Um, yeah, which was good. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get changed and then we'll head out for a spin and uh, test out these um, this turn by turn navigation on the bolt. Let's do this, friends. Right, guys, I'm out, blimey. Heading into a bit of a headwind, so I hope you can hear me. These turn by turn instructions on the Wahoo are absolutely brilliant. I'm loving it already. The simplicity of it. So, 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 they don't love you like I love you. They don't love you like I love you. And it's going to open up so many more routes when I'm out on my own and I want to go further afield. I can map it out and know that I'm going to get back and not get lost. <laughs> absolute bonus because I couldn't do that on my Garmin 520 because the maps were absolutely awful. It was just rubbish for that. They don't love you like I love you. So I'm wearing the uh, Red Castelli Perfetto that um, myself and Les exchanged on Tuesday morning up in Lincolnshire when we did our Tuesday swap shop. And I absolutely love it. I mean, I've got the blue one already, but this is just amazing. As you know, red is my favorite color. And I've got the FCC Defend Gilet over the top in the uh, fluoro yellow, the FCC winter colors. Just to let you know, uh, guys, about the FCC store. It's currently open, I think it's gonna close on Monday. So if you wanna get an order in quick, go for it. Um, because then I'm changing the opening um, times. It's gonna be open for uh, two months of the year. This is because it's just not uh, cost effective to have it open for two week periods and uh, small quantities of stuff uh, gets ordered. So what's gonna happen is, and I've spoken to John at Verge, and um, when I actually belong to a cycle club, they used to do it this way as well. So 1st of April to the 30th of April, the shop will be open for a whole month. So you can get uh, any of the kit you like in that period for like the approaching summer, I guess. And then uh, once the, once the uh, end of April arrives, the store will close, all those orders will be processed and shipped out to me, and then I will send them on to you legends that have ordered stuff. And then that'll be it for the summer. And then this store will reopen again on the 1st of October until the end of October. For any of you out there that wanted to get any additional kit or winter kit 
Um, so that's how it's gonna that's how it's gonna um, sort of evolve this year. Obviously, if there's a demand in the middle of the summer for extra kit, then I'll get it opened again. But that's the plan. So it'll be open for the whole of April and the whole of October for uh, anyone who wants to place any orders. Um, I will put a link to the FCC store. Just looking around this corner. Yeah, I'll put a link to the FCC store down below with the team password. Um, yeah, so just let me know what you think. If you've got any issues, please leave a comment below or drop me an email and I'm more than happy to answer any queries or questions. But that's the plan going forward. I'll just show you the, these turn by turn instructions. Hopefully you can see that all right, I've just come up a hill. So excuse my heavy panting. But it's telling me to turn left. At the top here. Here we go. Absolutely brilliant. Then we've got a right turn at the bottom of the hill. I'm absolutely loving it. I might have to go off route in a moment because I'm thinking about heading to the cake shop for a vegan Snickers. They do the homemade vegan Snickers and other vegan food and they are absolutely delicious. So I might just pop up there and go off course for a bit because I didn't plan it into my route. Right, so I have gone massively off course, but it's fine. It does give a really nice audible kind of alert that you've gone off course. So you just got to, it doesn't reroute you, so you just, which I knew anyway, so you just have to turn around. Um, but I've kept going because I want to get a cake. <laughs> cake on a Friday, friends. What could be better? Anyway, I'm loving this bolt. Les, thank you so much, my man. Right, guys, I'm at the Cake Shack. I have a vegan Snickers, which is absolutely amazing. I've actually got a vegan cherry bake or slice to take away, but I don't know how I'm going to fit that in my pocket. Could be a bit squishy. And I've got black tea. Awesome. Hashtag tea for Frosty. I hope you're all good. The um, bolt is absolutely fantastic loving it the turn by turn instructions as i mentioned on the way are just superb so all good and les great to see you out this morning you legend in your yellow perfetto loving it my man and i've got my um i've got the gray protective sleeve on the uh um, yeah which rob enright very kindly sent me so thank you so much rob i think i'm going to um keep it for use on the cyclocross bike it just fits in nicely um, just looks apart on the cyclocross bike, especially when I'm going to have a rough terrain. So yeah, loving it. Right, I'm going to get on with this vegan Snickers and tea. Right, well that was a cracking little cafe stop. Love those vegan Snickers bars. The uh, homemade ones that they do. And my daughter just turned up, Holly just turned up, so I gave her the uh, vegan apple and raspberry slice or whatever it was that I brought. So that's all good. Now we're just yeah, heading, heading back, back towards home. But back towards the route. So it's yeah, just going to pick us up, us up again on the map. Picked up the route. Just come up with a Strava segment. Get rid of that. There we go. We've got a right turn coming up. Absolutely brilliant. I'm loving it. trail down there I actually went on it yesterday being places because a lot of horses use it so in places it was so churned up 
but uh, when it gets a bit drier I'll go on there again and take you guys with me because it is really flowing and superb I used to use it a lot on my mountain bike I'm so lucky I've got so many awesome little trails there's another one back there which I completely forgot about yeah such awesome trails on my doorstep which is oh, so one I must say happy International Women's Day to all of the female riders in the FCC and all you ladies out there that watch the vlog. I know I haven't done it yet but I'm going to do it this afternoon um, I'll announce the competition and show you the prizes so we'll do that later in a separate vlog So we've got the next turn, left turn, and then a right turn coming up at the end of this lane. Now I know this is only the second time that I've been out and used the bolt, but from yesterday's setup and the use and the ease of using the maps, I should say, is absolutely fantastic. Just literally so much better than the, uh, than the hassle I had, especially with mapping on the Garmin 520. And, um, you know, all the other stuff, the software failures and not switching on, blah, 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 on the Garmin 520. It's just brilliant, I'm absolutely loving it. So my initial thoughts are that it's superb. And I think I mentioned earlier, it's, it literally has given me so much more confidence to ride further afield on my own and know where I'm going and know how I can get back. Because um, I just didn't want to do that using the Garmin 520. And when I'm out in the FCC group rides, I'm going to know where we're going and not having to worry about relying on other people. Which is such yeah, a great good. It was funny at the um, cafe, at the Cake Shack. I was taking a selfie out the front, <laughs> you know, as you do. And Holly was standing there and she said, oh, dad, you are so embarrassing. Can you stop with the selfies? I was just laughing. It was right. funny. I'm going to uh, end the vlog here now, friends. I'm nearly home. About another mile, I think. Thank you so um, much for watching and coming along with me on this short spin. It's been great to see you on this Friday morning and uh, I'll actually see you later this afternoon when I announce a competition um, and show you the prizes. So bye for now. Hey guys, just back. Just got a piece of post through the door and I was like, what on earth is that? It's in this tiny little black envelope and inside, complete surprise, was my very first Rafa 500, um, Festive 500 um, badge, so on badge for completing the Festive 500 over December. So cool, I'm absolutely loving it. Really nice, I completely forgot that I would be um, receiving that. So that is awesome, loving that. Really nice surprise in the post. And I don't know if you can see, but up there is the picture. Um, of us all from the um, FCC Midlands ride a couple of weeks ago so uh, I've put that on the wall just shuffled these two around a bit so looking good right I'm definitely going now see you later